Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is gonna be BSL gonna be BSL season 14, round of 32, group F final. We got flying starting in the upper left hand corner as the mustard yellow Zerg. Kind of an ugly Zerg color, but that's appropriate for Zerg. And in the upper right hand corner, as a little bit this isn't biased towards players here. This is just I think the purple's a little bit more fetching. That's all I'm saying. Arter Turtle as the purple Zerg. Looks like Arter Turtle is gonna get the initial scout off. I believe this is on Metaverse. Looks like it is on Metaverse, which has a wider choke, which means Zerglings a little bit stronger against Hatch Replay because they've got more room to run around and be annoying. But it's kind of it's balanced out though, so it's like a wide natural expansion. But then the choke here is a uh, odd and a little bit smaller, I believe. I think you can block with two. You don't need you don't need it as many. With, you get what I'm. Yeah, you don't need it with the three. Overlord Scout is going to be absolutely huge for Art of Turtle. Because oftentimes when you can get eyes in your opponent's base, it is a, it just, it's, that can be the advantage in Zerg versus Zerg. You know how many Zerglings you need to produce, you know what you need to execute versus your opponent, who's very much in the dark and just has to kind of play with a degree of invisible psychic game sense. Right now, both players hitting the 200 middle mark and are both, so we got an Overlord first on both ends. Are we going to see Overpool on both ends as well? Thus far, a pool not being dropped. Looks like Art of Turtle wants to go for the 12 hatch, which is a riskier build order. On the opposite corner, we are seeing a 12 pool. This is going to be a build order advantage towards Art of Turtle. Haven't seen a 12 hatch in a while, honestly, because sometimes against a lot of the build orders, it's extremely difficult to defend. But this... So the one risk here of having this Overlord out in the field now is if this Overlord gets scouted by another Overlord. With these crossing paths... Flying is not going to see it. So Art of Turtle, I think, realizing he's opening up with a little bit more of a risky build order, he's going to try to snipe, uh, snake in and get a view of potentially the creep or even take a look at the natural expansion to try to get an idea from there. Spawning pool dropping. In base, second hatchery. Which means there's more defensible territory. But keep in mind, this is going to be a, a, a fewer drones, theoretically, down the line, and fewer larvae later. Or I should say, how do I put this? Arter Turtle will have more larvae earlier, which means potentially more Zerglings, more drones, depending on how he wants to play it. So moving the Overlord to the natural expansion, he still has confirmed nothing. He's got his spawning pool coming online. The spawning pool is already finished. We've had six Zerglings being built. And as soon as this pool finishes, every larva needs to go into a Zergling because, again, wide territory to cover. So we got two Zerglings being built there. The hatchery finishing here. Let's see if we get the additional pair of Zerglings there. This Overlord reveals positioning, but it's going to wander up and see five Zerglings on the held position. Seeing these Zerglings out, he knows he's got a build order advantage. Single Zergling running across. It's going to find this natural expansion. Maybe if these Zerglings can just hurry down, they might be able to deny some information, but no, the Zergling able to wander in, sees that the natural expansion's online, was trying to shoot the gap of the ramp, not able to do so. So now... It's going to be a rush to lair, but in that rush to lair, you can see it's just about dead even. It's not going to be... Basically, all of the advantages currently going to Art of Turtle. Let's see if he can cap it. The Zergling going to go ahead and scout and wants to get a look at the drone count. That's two drone advantage, which is enormous in Zerg versus Zerg. More Zerglings joining. Usually, with that larva and economic advantage, you want to do exactly this. Get a lot of Zerglings out. Apply some pressure. These Zerglings trying to run across the field. The Overlord of Art of Turtle is going to spot them coming across, and that's going to send flying, sending those Zerglings home. You got one more Zergling on this side of the field that looks like it might get aggressive. There's the spawning, or sorry, there's the spire. So the timing of this and more Zerglings being built, Art of Turtle has the leisure to apply pressure with these Zerglings to try to hit a timing where basically additional Zerglings rather than Mutalisks need to be built. However... Looks like Flying is matching this count, and this is where having an Overlord nearby might be a disadvantage. This Overlord trying to escape. These two Overlords exposed, so Art of Turtle might end up falling behind. Right now he's got a big lead in drones, but he might end up falling behind if two of those Overlords get picked off out in open field, and he's not able to really take the shot. Zergling's engaging on the ramp, Flying, feeling the pressure to get something done, and unfortunately the Concavity working out for Art of Turtle, with the close reinforcement point, more Zerglings scooping up. 
think he wanted to try to attack, maybe hoping there was a skip of Zergling Speed, there, but there wasn't a skip from Zergling Speed. Getting a little bit of a better advantage right there, but there's just overwhelming amounts of Zerglings and a close reinforcement point already mining with drones. So this is nine drones versus 13. If Art of Turtle doesn't lose several Overlords, and if Flying doesn't find a way to kind of sneak in and basically mitigate Art of Turtle's lead, he is going to end up losing this match eventually. Right now, big supply lead in Art of Turtle's favor. Spires up. Mutalus being created. Opposite side of the field, Zerglings being created. And a few Scourge to maybe try to negate a Mutalisk or two as well. Flying looking for something on the ramp. More Zerglings flooding their way across. But keep in mind, if enough Mutalisks get in the air, that will negate this advantage. But right now, overwhelming Zerglings for Flying. Pushing to the natural expansion. Art of Turtle in the red because the Overlord, which I did not scout, died in the main. A single Mutalisk out. Art of Turtle needs to hold this ramp and... De Defend the natural expansion, but that's five Mutalisks in the air. Now attacking these Zerglings. There's a second Overlord, which is exposed right here. Maybe with the Zergling distraction, Flying can go ahead and make that happen. It looks like one Scourge did land. The second one got picked off. The Zergling's running. More Scourge pressing forward. So I guess initial Scourge went into an Overlord. And right now, Art of Turtle, yeah, needs to micro. It's going to... Took another big hit. He's getting mining again now at 15 drones. This Mulus fleet is growing, but he keeps land those scourge hits keep landing. And more scourge are being produced, and more Zerglings are kind of hiding to this corner. So right now, flying, waiting for a timing when Art of Turtle gets overly aggressive. See if these scourge are gonna go after the Overlord or not, or if they're just gonna go ahead and press for it and scout. Right now, a sunken colony might be helpful. Art of Turtle realizing he doesn't need aggressive, shelling up, flying. Building a Zergling fleet to the south. The Mutalists, yeah, need to cautiously engage, but this is kind of nice. So it looks like the consistency here has been able to pick off one, lose one. But as long as that Mutalist count stays low, these Zerglings are going to be able to potentially strike blood and just do overwhelming amounts of damage and keep the Mutalist preoccupied with Scourge up in the air. But as it stands, there are 10 drones ahead. For Art of Turtle, a sunken colony for a counterattack that could be morphed. So he's going for more of a long-term game. Looks like a single Zergling for Art of Turtle able to wander up. It sees the Evolution Chamber before engaging otherwise. Is he going to lose another Mutalisk here? Trying again. It's Nope. So picked off one, lost one. Now the Zerglings moving up for flying. All sorts of drones getting taken out. But keep in mind, some drones can be bled here. They're trying to work down that hatchery. The Mutalisks... Attacking in the air. This will trigger a counterattack. So Flying able to take out a hatchery. Now he's backing off. Some Zerglings also were able to get some damage in the main. Art of Turtle still has the drone lead overall. But now is down a hatchery. But now, going to press forward, get aggressive. We do have a Spore Colony, several Scourge in the way. Some counter scourge also that looks like, oh, this is critical. Art Flying needs to keep these Zerglings alive. They're going to march back out. Another hatchery being dropped. Art of Turtle still keep in mind with the drone lead overall. Scourge finding air. Nice micro from Art of Turtle, but loses some additional Mutalisks. The Zerglings look like they breached the ramp, so this is an overwhelming amount of, Zer of Zerglings. Now in Art of Turtle's base, which means they might be able to take down that hatchery once again, really taxing Art of Turtle's micro. Flying really making a game of it. Canceled hatchery. That drone might get taken out. And keep in mind, every drone counts in this matchup. So Art of Turtle, he's been... Okay, finally some Zerglings coming off. It looks like he wants to go ahead and drop that again. It looks like he's going to be able to drop it. Flying really making a match of it, though. He's got more Zergling stream forward. More Scourge to try to distract so that he can find room. Two of them landing. And Art of Turtle, despite the economic advantage, despite the air fleet advantage, having immense difficulty turning this into a victory. Flying now in the main, trying to pick off what he can, not quite able to get on drones, so all the drones survive. The second hatchery building, it looks like there's still even mining happening here. Another Scourge looks like it got, or sorry, another Mutalisk, I think, got picked off in the air. More Zerglings heading this direction, and more Scourge filtering in as well. And really, those Scourge landing on Art of Turtle's Mutalisks have really been huge for Flying, but Flying hasn't been able to sneak out a drone in the midst of this to catch up economically. Scourge now overhead. Immediately able to take out Mutalisks as they're spawning. So Flying staying in this match. 
Zerglings trying to filter through. These have been drastically whittled down in the last several attempts to get damage done. And each one that's getting picked off is enormous here. More Scourge! Almost landing, able to take out yet another Mulus, which is potentially going to allow these Zerglings to find wind. Find wind, find ground to do some damage. Scourge looking for angles. This time, Art of Turtle microing it well, and unfortunately, because the Scourge coming in first, that's buying room for Art of Turtles to go ahead and engage the Zerglings at the natural expansion. It looks like they're not going to be in sufficient numbers to take that hatchery out. Still trying to kill drones, but Art of Turtle doing a great job microing. Now Scourge trying to re-engage, but again, that was at an off timing, so they weren't trying to engage the Zerglings simultaneously. Two Zerglings now trying to back off. These Scourge looking to find engagement. More Zerglings trying to group up. They need to keep that second hatchery down to keep flying in this match. The supply count's been continually growing for Arter Turtle. And now, Arter Turtle has grown what I'm going to call an indomitable air fleet. He's mining his second gas, which is the big advantage you want out of that second hatchery. More Scourge floating up. But right now, the Mutalisk, which one are they going to decide to defend? It looks like they're going to engage the Scourge first. Taking a hit right there. Two Zerglings running up. A third hatchery being dropped. This, the gas being interrupted. The drones getting in on the fight. And now, the economic lead just growing and growing for Art of Turtle. The Zerglings trying to engage in that natural expansion. Still having trouble. More Scourge flying in. But again, because it's not simultaneous. Because it's not as the Zerglings are being engaged and not... As the Scourge are being... Basically, it's been a little bit off-tempo for flying. He hasn't really been able to disrupt Art of Turtle. So Art of Turtle now at 41 supply. And it's starting to feel like cleanup operation time. Still able to pick off more Mutalisks in the air. So he's still making a game of it. Once this third hatchery comes online, that's going to be dangerous news. The Zerglings able to get drones this time. More Mutalisks are spawning, though. They're not able to get on top of the Spire either. His third hatchery, I think that might be the death knell. Looks like two of those Scourge landed. A single Zergling now trying to interrupt. There's just too many targets now to try to engage for these Zerglings. This is one hell of a final match. Zerglings pulling back to the main. They need to stay alive. More Scourge running up to maybe cap a Mutalisk. But Art of Turtle now starting to build Zerglings of his own. He's got a strong enough economy to do so. It's been eight drones this entire time for flying. And while he's made a strong match of it, Art of Turtle has defended well another Scourge landing right there. Now pocketing the Zerglings to himself, he might have one more opportunity if Art of Turtle opts to get aggressive rather than playing defensive. But keep in mind, his name is Art of Turtle, and he is truly living up to the name in this match. Scourge cycling up. Are they going to connect? No, not this time. But again, the Zerglings aren't here to engage while this is happening, which means these Mutalisks potentially going to be able to engage. The Zerglings reveal themselves to the south. And Art of Turtle continues to drone up. Now has an anti-Zergling ground force of his own. I'm not sure if the Evolution Chamber capped plus one weapons in the interim. It does not look like that was the case. There just wasn't enough of an economy to make that happen. One drone got picked, or sorry, morphed into an additional creep colony. The Zerglings are moving to the south. They need this to be a sunken to defend against counter Zerglings, potentially. The Scourge in the air of Art of Turtle finding the Zerglings. And now Art of Turtle is coming out of his shell and starting to make moves to get aggressive. Zerglings engaging Zerglings and Mutalisks now overhead. And that is thinning the herd. A couple Zerglings able to cycle across. But now... Flying's going to have to bring those units back. Art of Turtle can sack that natural expansion, bring drones back into the main. These Zerglings working on the Spore Colony to the north. Scourge trying to engage as well. But there are not enough Scourge to take out all of the units that are out in the air. So it looks like this is potentially going to be the GG moment. And Flying is taken out by the very strong defensive play of Art of Turtle. Appropriate username here. And that is going to send Art of Turtle to the round of 16. Fun match. I love ZVZ sometimes. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.